Okay, this is a replication of Bodkin's Earth Negative Energy experiment that um, he's asked for people to try to replicate it, and I, I did. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, make a little video and post it right away. Uh, the contention was that you're picking up a charge from the Earth on a negative, and so I stuck a big screwdriver in the ground with a wire connecting it straight to the ground path. Out there I've got a solar panel, a little 2 watt solar panel. I'm going to run this with no batteries. Got the two leads coming in here. And I'm using capacitor to help store up the energy from the solar panel. And then a capacitor on the charge portion of the Bedini circuit just so it will have a load to go into. The circuit is the standard Bedini SSG circuit only right here we've got the fan running. Up here is the CFL circuit. You go from the positive on the ignition coil right into the collector. The negative, I'm sorry, the negative goes into the collector. The positive goes to the plus on the primary battery which on this experiment is the plus on the capacitor, the big uh, electrolytic capacitor. And then into the, the Bedini system. Now on the Bedini system here, I've got a capacitor just for the load so I don't hurt the transistor here. And I've got the collector lead coming off the transistor open right now. And I've got the coil, the ignition coil, connected to the positive circuit in the Bedini. Now I'm going to start the fan up. There's no batteries here. There goes the fan. Okay, that's running through the Bedini circuit, the solar panel, but not the ground lead. That's not connected. The ground is coming right in here, and that's the end of the cord right there. That's what's going out the door right into the ground. The big screwdriver is grounding to the earth. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the CFL. This is going to stop the fan. It's going to go into self-oscillation. You might be able to hear it. But I'm going to leave the light disconnected except for one lead. That lead is coming right off the high voltage tower of the ignition coil. But normally where the negative goes, I'm leaving that alone. Okay, here we go. I'm going to connect the coil to the Bedini circuit. It's going to stop the fan. You might hear that go into the self-oscillation. Okay, now what's happening is I've got voltage pulsing into that coil. I've got high voltage coming out of right there. It's going down that wire and it's going into that bulb with one wire. Watch what happens when I touch the bulb. Now that's me supplying a ground path right there. Okay, just the one wire. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect another wire to the light. Nothing's happening. And I'm going to connect this wire to the ground wire. And there goes the light. I'll disconnect it. Connect it. Disconnect it. Connect it. And back a little bit, see if I can show the whole thing here. Watch what happens if I try to connect it to the coil, though. It stops the oscillation cold, and we have no light. Anyway, that's a replication of Bodkin's experiment except that I don't have any capacitor in here showing the energy coming in from the ground and I don't have any meters connected to this at all so it's not getting any current from the meters whatsoever this is just a ground path on that high voltage circuit that's going through that bulb and then back down into the earth very interesting experiment we should do more uh, more investigation on this.